I think we're going to be in a different world, uh, you know, at many, many levels. We're going to see that in a recertification of clients and what their goals are. I think we're going to see that in their estate planning. Um, are they going to be doing more gifting? Um, what are their interests as far as charitable uh, contributions? I'm seeing clients that are saying, I really do want to live closer to my children or people that are living close to their children and say, I really would, uh, I would really like to see them. I would really like a hug and a kiss for my grandson or my granddaughter. You know, we do a, a cash flow management with them and it's been fun to see, you know, they'll say, well, you can take that $20,000 this year of travel off my budget. I said, good, that means you're gonna save it or, you know, you're gonna save it for the next trip that can be even bigger. Well, we're not sure of that. And we all laugh and we say, well, when we reviewed your financial statement, again, we know it went up, it went down, you know, you spent it or you saved it. And so it's been interesting for, um, our clients to reevaluate what their short-term expenses are and their living expenses. The one thing I would say to these female advisors is, you've got to have balance right now. You've got to protect your confidence. You've got to look at your life in a holistic manner. And so it's your health, it's, you know, do meditation. Uh, I experience brain fever in the middle of the night periodically. I mean, I just get overwhelmed with, you know, what's going on at, at personal and business levels. And so it's really important to pause, to take time. And in my own personal situation, my only daughter uh, and partner um, was diagnosed with uh, uh, cancer three years ago. And so she's been in chemo and, you know, she's had surgeries and all of those things and really make sure you, me, our family, uh, look at what's most important. For those that have a dog or little kids, I mean, that come running into the room, I mean, you, you, you have to stop and laugh. And I think that's the other thing. We don't laugh enough. I don't laugh enough. I just come in and deal with all the seriousness. And so I'm really working with my team and my family to try and get some laughter in there. I just think you gotta take every day and go out and walk when you're feeling overwhelmed and breathe in some fresh air.